every one of us is blessed with a unique talent an extraordinary gift something that we bring to the world something amazing that we bring to the world now the moment you are aware of your talent one person is a musician another person is a is an artist a painter third person can um, um a heal disease so on and so forth we all have our talents the moment you understand that you have this talent the temptation is most of us are tempted to leverage it use it only for personal profit so if you are an engineer or an architect or an iit iim whatever it is you only think of how can i use this talent to make more money for myself to get more name fame etc etc this leads to mediocrity you go up to a certain point it's self limiting and after that you plateau you remain there if you want to take that one step forward you have to not gain more knowledge you have to just shift your attitude and the shift in attitude is you dedicate yourself you set aside personal profit you set aside what you're going to get out of it and say all right let me dedicate myself to this very field to this endeavor so a cricketer says every time i go out and play cricket let me just play the best cricket that i can a painter says let me give of my best to this painting a musician every time he performs just gets into the spirit of the music and have you seen outstanding musicians they go on stage they the oblivious of the audience they shut their eyes and just start singing this leads to excellence but perfection comes when you understand you're a deeply aware of the fact that this talent is not yours it's god given it's given to you by some divine power and every time you act you offer this as ahuti your offering to the lord who gave you this talent in the first place and then you reach perfection these are rare outstanding people in the world for instance michelangelo when he was painting four years of grueling hard work he put into the into painting that ceiling and apparently he spent four months painting one remote corner of the ceiling that nobody would see so his well wishers told him he says why are you wasting your time painting something that nobody is going to see he said no you're mistaken god will see it and it is this that attracts hundreds and thousands of people to see that ceiling it's not what he's painted it's the spirit in which he painted that makes it so outstanding 